Welcome Sagittarius. We're going to be looking at what action you need to take during this year. Okay, using Work Your Light Oracle cards. So I've pulled the action cards from that deck to find out what action you need to take. So one card for Sagittarius, please. One card. There we go. What is this? Sisterhood of the Rose. Okay. Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. Okay, this is the action you need to take. Interesting. Alrighty, so let me just... Sorry about that, Sagittarius. I had to sneeze. Okay, so Sisterhood of the Rose. So let's have a look here. This is interesting for action. I feel like this is about you stepping into this energy, to be honest with you. Wow, these cards are really flying. Tell me more. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just pick these up. Okay, so first of all here, this is really interesting because this is quite a um, an intense energy here. Um, so I guess the thing, the key thing here is to remember that no matter what is going on for you throughout the year, is to remember to hold these energies, okay, sisterhood of the rose, because what I feel like with the Sagittarius is that you have backup, you have guidance, you have your guides, you have your angels, you have your ancestors who are there, okay, you are the one living here, dealing with all these frantic energies right now, and it's pretty intense, okay, so just, just take your time, and try to remember what support you do actually have, okay? We have the outsider here. We have compromise as well, okay? And I feel like with these two cards, it's so interesting, okay? Because this, this card here, usually when I see this, I always see these two guys as trying to get through a doorway, right? And neither of them wants to take a step back in order to let the other one go first. And they push and push and push and they can't get through the doorway until one of them takes a step back and allows the other one to get through. But they're too stubborn to allow that to happen, okay? We have the outsider here standing at a gate which is locked. Now, here's the thing. It's like this is the, even though it's not a doorway, it's a gateway. It's a gateway, right? These two are trying to fit through, but they can't get through because they're too stubborn, okay, there's this gateway that I feel like you're trying to get through, and it's not the one for you, it's locked, it's padlocked, actually, and I feel like Sagittarius, you need to turn around and have a look at another direction for yourself, Okay, there's part of this thing within you that's like, no, this is what I want. This is where I'm meant to go. This is what I've been working for towards, right? Everyone's relying on me. I need to do this. Some of you feel incredibly guilty for even considering a turn in direction. And maybe you have taken a different direction and that's something that you feel guilty about. There's something that is clawing at you in your mind. It's this mind going blah, 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 blah. It's about rising above the mind because when you rise above the mind, that's when growth happens. That's when you're able to really step into your own. That's when you're able to step into the sisterhood of the rose. That's when you can grow the roses Look at a rose bush, right? There's thorns on it. You're going to get pricked by the thorns. It's, no one said it was going to be an easy journey, but there are blessings along the way that keep you going, right? There are those roses that you get to smell, that you get to admire, and you keep going. You keep going and going, right? This is about your growth. This is about you being receptive to the growth. And like I say, it's not necessarily easy. But it's part 
of this um how do i word this i wanted to say cycle of life but it's a whole lot more than that it's actually part of How the entire universe is set up in a geometric way because I'm looking at this let me explain this to you I'm looking at this here this is very um, it, it just has this geometric thing about it if that's the right word right and um, and it's the flower of life and I feel like there's this, this, um, these paths that cross as you rise up, right? It's like this sort of dance that happens. And there's this crossing of the paths and then there's separation and it comes back together and then it separates out and it comes back together and it keeps going like this until it comes to this blossoming flower. And it's about you reaching up to allow the growth to happen. You reaching up to the master, to the master of the creator, to the master that you are, Sagittarius. To the master that you keep hidden, to the master that potentially you may be unaware of even. Right? To allow that to come forth, to allow that growth to happen. Because this is the ultimate. This is you being in your ultimate form. This is about you being receptive to being in that form. Okay, we have patience here. Patience, yes, patience. <laughs> something that you've been practicing or trying to master for a really long time keep going you know keep going because there's this is the thing that you've been working to to um you've been working on a project or working to birth something new and potentially it hasn't been coming together in the way that you hoped it would or thought it would um and the whole point is the learning that you have done along the way as opposed to you getting to that particular destination that you believe you should reach it's actually the lessons that have been the important thing and once you realize that you're going to open yourself up to all the abundance in the world you're actually going to be able to create create so much more than what you believed you could it's a matter of surrendering and allowing allowing this creator to take charge and this as I say creator is within you in allowing that master to come out okay we have the lovers here and this is about you facing your demons hey really looking at yourself and going okay let's just take a moment to really look in the mirror and see how it is that I need to improve, how I need to transform, what do I need to do here, yeah, because you've been fighting that, you've been putting on this armour, you've been in defence mode for such a long time, and it's time to come out of it, it's not necessary anymore, okay, because you can't have love when you're fighting, no, You've got, to, you've got to take the armour off in order for the love to come in. In order for the love to tr penetrate through. It can't penetrate through the armour. But you want it to. You expect it to. You're like, well, if it's that strong and that's good, it'll, it'll come through. No, it won't. You have to allow it. Because it's from the inside out. It's not from the outside in. time to actually allow yourself this new beginning 
it's time right it is time let me have a look i feel like we need more cards here tell me more There's a decision here. There's a decision that needs to be made. Okay, this hanging in the balance, not knowing which way to go. Keeping this box over your head. Oh, if I just leave this box over my head, it'll work itself out. No. This is about you participating in life. About you bringing everything you have into play so that you can step into this master, this master self of who you truly are, right? The sisterhood of the rose, yeah? So in saying that, let's have a look at sisterhood of the rose. Okay. Sorry, just let me, here we go. Sisterhood of the Rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic teacher. The Sisterhood of the Rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devoted their lives to serving humanity and seeding light consciousness all over the earth. A cross-section of ancient lineages is the path of devotion and beauty. Walking this path means being devoted to seeing and creating beauty wherever you go. The rose symbolizes the heart and the sacred geometry of all life. That was the word I was looking for, geometry. You are being called to notice the beauty around you, particularly in nature, and hear the whispers of Mother Earth. You are being called to spend more time in nature as all the ancient secrets live there. Mother Earth is constantly whispering. Spend time admiring her creations and you will be rewarded with insight and grace. You are being called to take a little more time to notice the beauty that exists all around you and contribute to the beauty of the world in your own way too. This could be through your own creations or in the little things like how you dress to picking flowers for your home. Every time you devote your time to creating beauty, you harmonize the planet a little more and the shift in vibration that can be felt. Work your light actions. Surround yourself. So this is the action you need to take. Surround yourself with beauty and create beauty wherever you go. Absolutely. I love that. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.